this week on Buck Commander. All right, baby, we have arrived. None of the Buckmen have ever killed in Illinois. Every year it comes up, guys, we gotta go to Illinois. We gotta shoot some big bucks. Nothing. Willie seems to think that hunting in Illinois is just a waste of time. Uh, help. I guess the curse has just gotten to him a little bit too much. Help me. <laughs> Y'all can go to Illinois, I'm going to Texas. Illinois is just a haunted, cursed ground for the Buckmen. None of the Buckmen have ever killed in Illinois. We've had some encounters, and just for whatever reason, we continue to strike out every single one of us to a man. Which begs the question, what are we doing wrong? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> click, 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 click. Let's just get this over with. Right. What are you Come on. talking about? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I for a long time now. Hey, hey, no. 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 Uh, hey my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Y'all, I'll leave him something to remember that. Needless to say, we have accomplished nothing in Illinois. I just think this thing's bootleg. Let's go back home. And every year it comes up. Hey, we got to go to Illinois. We got to shoot some big bucks. Book it. Willie seems to think that hunting in Illinois is just a waste of time. I guess the curse has just gotten to him a little bit too much. Help me. <laughs> no. The light in the road. But what he doesn't understand is there is giants in this state. Maybe he'll walk right up to me. You just do your own thing. Put your time in, son. When the guy said they were going, I was like, hey, as Davy Crockett says, y'all can go to Illinois, I'm going to Texas. Is it Illinois or Illinois? Maybe we have arrived. One of Mikey's buddies knew a buddy one of those deals, and we ended up on a superb farm. Stands are already here. We just had to come in and put up some camera stands. Food plots are in. Deer everywhere, and big bucks. Big buck country right here. Took a ferry to come over. That just shows you how cool this place is. First afternoon in Illinois. Saw some bucks in here this morning. We're coming back, gonna hunt the same set we hunted this morning. Tombo's back in the same spot. He's already up and hopefully, unless something bad happened, he's already in the tree. We got a bit of a situation here. Uh, help. Time to get after it. Hopefully we get a big one running by us this evening. Come on. Don't follow me from that one. <laughs> we got Justin Talley with us, a buck man in training. He's sitting up on the ridge. And uh, we're just here to kill, plain and simple. We came here to kill a big buck. 
and we're not going home until we do it. So I got invited to hunt this farm in Central Texas. There ain't nobody hunted on this thing in 10 years. Ain't no blinds, ain't no stands, ain't nothing. Just a bunch of deer. So I called my man Danny Little with Redneck Blinds. Today I had an unusual request. Danny. Willie. Danny, what's up, bro? What can I do for you, Willie? I need a Redneck Blind. Wheels. What are you what are you thinking? You need it in a couple weeks or Saturday. Saturday? Saturday, son. Today, today's today's Tuesday. Danny, we're gonna change the face of deer hunting as we know it, son. Get her done. See you. Well, let me tell you something. My heart lies in Texas. Texas is just closer to my house, basically. I can get over it a lot easier than I can to Illinois. And I can bring a few more deer back with me. All the rest of the boys are in Illinois, all up there trying to get a big Illinois buck and break that curse uh, that's, that's got us with Buck Commander. Texas ain't got us cursed. This is this is our place here. Um, we're right in the heart of Texas, but a place that honestly doesn't get hunted at all. We got the Redneck Mobile Station here. I got it brushed in good. It's really cool because we can just bring it in, set it up, and if we don't like it, we'll roll it out and move it somewhere else tomorrow. You know, we got deer chasing everywhere. I don't know what they're gonna think when they see the, the mobile killing station. Hope they just look up. I think it's just a pile of brush with a metal barrel sticking out of it. This is what we're supposed to be hanging our deer on here. Uh, hopefully this evening we can do some good here. Right. <laughs> that means we can hey, this is a good, good hunter safety system. Lesson learned right here. It's hard to beat that safety system, right. here, dude. This Look is, at this. This is what we're gonna do to them if they don't kill. Man, I'm about to go nuts. We've been locked up in the house all day watching it rain. Nothing we can do. Just dumping all day. Sideways wind. It's still drizzling, but we had to get out. It was killing us. We came eight hours to hunt Illinois. We've been here three days. And had one hunt yesterday evening, just one thing after another. But that's over with. It's time to get after it. We got a couple days left. We're going to make the best out of it. And you better believe we're going to put some time in tonight and tomorrow. Got a couple deer coming in. Transition areas. Tra
travel areas, you know, staging. I mean, we've got it all here. steers across the creek up on the ridge. <clears throat> Hit the rut hunter a couple times. He was coming. When he stopped, he was unfortunately just out of range. Good buck, just never got a clean shot. All of a sudden, this crazy, funky-looking six-point comes out. So we decided to get out and do an old-fashioned stalk. I knew this was a terrible idea, but what am I going to do? He's the boss. I should have known better than to listen to Jordan to get out of the mobile killing station and chase this deer. Get off. Get off my blind. Hopefully the guys in Illinois did better than we did in Texas. If this place has some serious potential. I will be back. <laughs> Saw some decent bucks. Uh, we only had one shot, and I uh, just couldn't close the deal. And once again, the buckmen leave empty-handed. But we're not done yet. We're leaving Rick and Hunter behind, and hopefully our cameramen can get it done. It's Illinois. We have big deer, just not around us. Man, Willie, you really missed out on a great trip this year. Hunter and Rick, please get it done.
Well, the Buck Commander boys have been coming to Illinois for the past five years. Not one of them has had a chance to shoot a deer. So this week, me and Hunter are gonna look to get it done. When you send us two in to do a job, we're trying to produce it and we're trying to hunt at the same time. And Whoa, whoa, whoa. You didn't hear it? Hunter said I had plenty of clearance for my truck to go straight over the top of the camera. I didn't plan on running, like running over it. And the worst thing was it was Rick's personal camera. <laughs> wow, we're off to a great start of this hunt, let me tell you. Well, Rick and Hunter are our last chance to kill an Illinois. Yeah, brilliant! Dude, we're screwed. Boot leg. All right, here we are, morning number three. Camera commander, Hunter Jobs, behind the camera. I've already had some uh, activities of some small amateur bucks, but uh, no mature bucks coming in yet. Right now, we're gonna try to close the deal. Two more days, get her done. Get her done. Getting it done, day three. We called it right away. Hunter Jones behind the camera, comes over the hill, close the deal, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. See the white collar? Yep, there he is. Yeah! Find him? It's him right there. Oh, white belly. Bert Bellis. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, he's freaking, he's been down for the count for a while. I couldn't be more excited to break the Buck Commander curse. And to have it be done with the stick and string is even that much better. Look at that freaking pig. Now that I'm tagged out, now it's Hunter's turn with the smoke pole. Big day tomorrow, muzzleload season, smoke pole time. We got a buck down and we're going for number two. Yeah. They're, dude, they're running everywhere. They're chasing them. See, right, that V in the tree, that's where we need to be. Got him, baby. He's going down. He's going down. He just ate it, baby. He just smoked yes, a pig. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh. Look at, look at the size of that deer. Buck Commander now has 
two bucks in Illinois down, and uh, I couldn't have been happier. Illinois freaking pig. Put him on the board. Rick and Hunter, great job breaking the curse of Illinois. Hopefully the rest of us can get on the board next year. If we have to send our camera guys out to Illinois to kill for us, we might as well just fold shop on this company. See this right here? Illinois tag. He gone. So the Buck Commander camera guys have lifted the curse in Illinois. You're welcome. Technically, Rick and Hunter are just camera guys. They're not even real people. So the curse is still on. I don't think we've seen the last of Illinois.